Welcome, episode 42. This week, we're gonna meet our lovely scaffolders. So I'm not sure if you've picked up on that on the channel, but we're obviously a brickwork subcontractor and a scaffolding subcontractor. So we like to merge the two together, a bit of synergy. Uh, we believe the businesses complement each other very well and we actually prefer a combined service. Uh, we're going to get out, we're going to meet the scaffolders, we're going to talk to the brickies, talk to the scaffolders and we're going to see the pros and the cons of a combined service. We believe it's more efficient, easier for the site manager, which made in heaven and let's meet the scaffolders. Time to meet some scaffolders. So we are on one of our developments in Swindon, 103 houses, and we have a combined brickwork and scaffolding package. We've been here just over 12 months. Mm, reckon maybe halfway through, maybe a little bit more. Uh, but yeah, let's go and meet the scaffolders. Martin is the supervisor here, and he works in conjunction with uh, our foreman Steve. So let's go and see him and see what the uh, pros and cons are of a combined package. Right, quick tour of scaffolding, Martin. Martin is the supervisor here. It's a good lad, Martin. Same brand of gates that we use from uh, Stay Safe. A safe work and load on them. So this site has rubber shoots. That's a specification on here. Some people have skip bays, which I'll probably show you on another development. So rubber shoot goes up and this current developer actually fences them off so it's nice and safe. So the rubber chute has to be a minimum of one meter above the skip uh, to stop uh, build up of debris in there and stuff. So that's one particular feature on there. You can see the bracket at the top there that holds the hopper, the top piece, the black one's called the hopper. And that's for everyone to use. And then they put a, a rubble skip in there or they put a plastic skip in there or one for the timber, for the roof tilers, etc. So, we'll go see the boys in a minute. So this particular developer has uh, a swinging access gate at the top here, and they have ladders. Some people have staircases, some people don't. Uh, and we have what, round the top, something called a halo, which protects people as they step out onto the ladder to make sure it's all nice and safe. So let's go and see the boys, shall we? It's a bit of handrail down there because there's a bit of a fall so the fall off of the damp work to the uh, platform below is is quite a bit at the back there look you can see that so put a handrail same on that garage keeps everyone nice and safe and so the bird cage remains in place now uh, until the joists are on like this and then the scaffolders come up here when the chippies finish and they will prop up the sacrificial joist that go in this stairwell. So they put in a sacrificial joist, they board over it, and then we prop underneath it so it's safe and people can walk about and access it. So bird cages are fully working platforms. They can be loaded out. There is a, a certain amount of weight that can go on and we have a drawing that our lads have to stick to. Uh, but it's there for the chippy and it's there for the bricky and it makes things a lot easier. No trestles, no airbags, no internal wall scaffolding, just the full working platform. So much easier. Some more arm rails and stuff over there. So good practice keeping the full. Uh, another one there, to be fair, look. Done a lot of them up here. So here's Magic, big Magic. Hello. So you are now part two scaffolder, aren't you, Magic? Yes, I am. Indeed. How did you start life as a scaffolder? As a labourer. You actually started life on our brickwork division, yeah, didn't did. you? So Magic started life with us on the bricklaying division and then decided he wanted to be a scaffolder. Why did you decide you wanted to be a scaffolder? Mag I tried it once yeah. with Peter yeah. and I enjoyed it. Right, okay. Do you think the progression in scaffolding is quicker than it would be learning to be a bricklayer, for example? I haven't got a clue because I haven't laid a brick in my life. I personally think that, so when did you start scaffold labouring? 2018. 18, so four years and now you're a fully qualified part two scaffolder. Yeah. Uh, I think that's pretty good progress. I think that would be quicker than 
scaffold it, the uh, bricklaying apprenticeship to be to be fully fledged. Like we can trust you on a job. You can do handovers, and you pretty much know what you're doing on on most things. You wouldn't get that with brickwork. Magic done. Started as a labourer, then he goes part one, then he's now part two. Do you prefer it when it's A and D on the brickwork and the scaffolding? What's the pros and cons of working with our brickies? What's the, what's the good and what's the bad? It's hard communication, I guess. Yeah, yeah, good answer, mate. I think we work very well uh, together, personally. When we work without our scaffolders, we struggle sometimes. Yeah. We don't get the service that we're used to. First a little insight, so this is magic. So what are we working on here, Magic? What we got? Second lift. Second lift. Advanced arm rail going in. Yeah. Good lad, all loaded out, ready to go. And then the beautiful alleyway. Oh, and the beautiful alleyway, yeah. You you love the alleyways, mate, oh, don't you? Inside. They're lovely, aren't they? So we've got another hand rail up here. Uh, so uh, we wanted to get this ready for Joyce. Um, and then they didn't have the Joyce. So anyway, we banged a hand rail in down here so we can progress and get this, this one up next door and there's no fall from height for the brickies. So everything's nice and safe. So we'll meet Martin in a minute, the supervisor. So Martin on the left is the supervisor here. Mark on the right is part two scaffolder. Mark, you've been with us a little while now, haven't you? Uh, coming up two years though, yeah. Coming up two years. So Martin is in charge here. Martin, what's the best thing about working with A&D Brickwork Division? And be nice. Uh, uh. It's easier. Yeah. You can have a nice and easy chat with supervisor. It sometimes makes our life a little bit easier, definitely. Yeah, good. I, I'm glad you said that, and I didn't pay him to say that, people. <laughs> I, I, gen, I genuinely think it's. Uh, I, I genuinely think it's better, and uh, you know, magic as we spoke to earlier, come from the brickwork division and now is the scaffolder. And then in the same token, Mark's lad, uh, Louis, is on our brickwork division as an apprentice. So we like to keep it in the family, to keep it all nice. Sometimes I've got to bang their heads together, the bricklayers and the scaffolders, but the scaffolders are too big for me to take on. So Martin's taking on a second lift here. So the advanced handrail is in here. So they're never exposed to a, a fall off the leading edge. And uh, how long will this take you, Martin, do you reckon? Uh Three hours, I will say. Three hours for a second lift. Bird cage is already in. Uh, we've got some briquettes missing. So, but uh, good lads, good team. Uh, got a, Martin got a very good, well, the division got a very good healthy score, uh, health and safety score on the last visit. So, well done. Keep it up, lads. And I will pass on the feedback to the Brickland division. So, that's a little update with the scaffolding. Hopefully it's nice to see them. I'll go to another couple of jobs if I get a chance. Uh, short week this week because I'm going to the prestigious NHBC Pride in the Job Awards with one of our clients. But while I'm here on this site, I'm going to get a Morton Premier update. So let's go and have a look and see how it's progressing because they look absolutely stunning. Hi right, Jezza. Hey, mate. How are you, mate? Hey, mate. So, you haven't been on YouTube for a while, have you? So, do you find it better working with a combined brickwork and scaffolding company as opposed to two different subcontractors yes I do yes. why yes. do you say that it's easier so you don't have to keep messing around going here going there uh, they, they both know what they're doing. Yeah, I, I, you know, obviously I'm biased, but I agree. I think we work together quite well, and we help each other out. So it's good, to, good for the feedback. So yeah. thank you, Jerry. All right, mate, no it's a pity you're a Man City fan, but you can't get everything right. Yeah. But thanks for your well. feedback, mate. Tell me how. See you in a bit. All right, Stephen. I'm right. Steve, what's the best thing about working with our scaffolders? Do you prefer to work? Yes. You've recently come from a job. With a big scaffolding company, yep. who provided a better service, our lads or the other big company where we was only doing the brickwork? Probably us, to be fair, to be fair, yeah, it would be quite better to be fair. I know I've got to have a chat with you and the scaffolders sometimes, but on a whole, I think you would prefer, do you prefer to work with our boys? Yes, it's a lot, a lot easier, a lot easier, a lot better, I can, I can speak to them, they yeah. come and do the, do the stuff I ask them to do, pretty good to be fair. Brilliant, good. No complaints. There it is, Morton Premier in all its glory, looks nice. Looks really nice. Very grand. Wonder how they're getting on inside. Don't believe I've been inside this one. What do you think? Looks lovely, doesn't it? Let's have a look, shall we? In the integral double garage. Lovely. Let the light adjust. What do you think, people? Fire door here. 
kitchen going in. What we think on the kitchen choices, people. Nice island in the middle. I assume. Couple of ovens. Looking really nice. Some chrome fittings. There it is, in all its glory. Lovely kitchen, lovely big kitchen. Have a look in the utility room, shall we? Sockets, well look, at, look how neat they are. Even spacing, nice and neat, love it. Utility room. Downstairs WC, all tiled. Looking nice. So second fixed carpentry, looks like it's done. Nice entrance, looks lovely. Plain old room this one. Needs a bit of jazz in here, doesn't it? But make a nice living room. Office, study, whichever you want to call it. Stairs, little cupboard under the stairs, quite useful. Tiled throughout. Let's have a look upstairs quickly, shall we? Lovely job of the decorating, I've got to say. So, tiling's now complete in here. What do you think on the tiles, people? Nice. Full height tiling. I think this is the master bedroom, if I remember rightly. Ooh, nice. Nice and bright, this one. All the tiling complete. Dual sinks in here, if I remember rightly. So there we go, dual sinks. Built in wardrobes. Look nice. Another bedroom, another, another ensuite again. It's been tiled. We have light. Nice. Full height tiling in the shower. Looks really nice. I like the chrome light fittings everywhere. Another bed, no one tweeting that one. The main event for me looks absolutely lovely. Is the ensuite? Let's go in the ensuite. So it's your shower. There's your shower. Nice. Built in wardrobes. There we go, people. Morton Premier. Pretty much second fixed. It's a big old house this is. Jesus Christ. Big old unit. The main hub of the houses nowadays are kitchens and I think this is absolutely stunning. Let's have a quick look next door, shall we? See how that one's progressing. The kitchen in the other one. Much better, in my opinion. Looks nice. Prefer this kitchen, 100%. Sorry mate, just doing some filming. Looks lovely. Let's have a look at the kitchen now. There you go. Looks lovely. Like the handles. Very nice. Right, what do you prefer? Kitchen number one. Or kitchen number two. Comment below. Kitchen number two for me. Right, just catching up with the lads at Legal and General. So we've got a combined brickwork and scaffolding package here as well. We're on phase two, I don't know, a few hundred houses here. Uh, been here three years, three and a half years. It was three years in April, because uh, it started just before my 40th birthday. And we just won subcontractor of the month for September as well. So well done to the boys. Uh, works very well here, quite a challenging site. So the combined service works really well. Raz just joined our scaffolding division from uh, our brickwork division. Yesterday I did my first garden wall. You did your first garden wall? Yes, I'm Is loading it? everything, I'm collecting everything. And now... <laughs> Good lad. So <laughs> under Peter's expert tuition. So how's he progressing, Peter? Progressing very well, to be fair. Good lad. Keep it up, Rad. I mean, look at the size of you. You should I'm be very, right. I very appreciate that. I, I, I got the chance for change my life. Thank you so much. That's all right. You're welcome, mate. You're a, an asset to the business. So keep it up. Keep safe. Thank Try you. not to listen to Marek's um, advice outside of work. <laughs> <laughs>
Anyway, okay. and don't and one <laughs> one tip I'll give you is don't go on Amazon and order things when you've been drinking. Isn't that right, Marek? I'm drinking. You might end up That's might true. end up with like fifty budgies. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Rad seriously has just joined from the brickwork division into the scaffolding division because he wants to get a trade under his belt. So we've been accommodating. And uh, that's why they're in here having a little scaffolders party. Little scaffolders tea party to keep it up, Rad. Thank you so much. This is how sophisticated our scaffolders are. Look, he's got a smoking case. He thinks he's Roger Moore out of uh, James Bond. Yeah. Let's show that. Let's have a look. <laughs> Keeps them dry, doesn't it? Life, I know. Well done, mate. He's nice. He's an old set man. <laughs> did, he add, did you add him? You added him yeah, to the WhatsApp group. Yeah. So we've got a scaffolding WhatsApp group. So we're just, now Rad's done his trial, we can add him to it. He's made the grade. Some scaffolding at Legal and General, all nice and neat. Here we go. Very scaffold intensive job this, all the boards cut nice and flush on the loading bay. New gates are up. Uh, yeah, so here at Legal and General, we don't, they don't do rubbish shoots, they do skip bays. So on the right here, where this is put the two boards stacked up either side. So that is for a skip bay. So skips, tipping skips get them tipping skips there, get placed up there and then saves putting anything uh, down a rubber chute. That's just the specification here at Legal and General. And um, that's the way they roll. And that's what we had to price for. And that's the way it is. So. The good thing with these loading bay gates, or the labourers literally just stood in the house there, is although they're open, it has three handrails on the rear, so no one can go across there and fall off the edge. So we should keep them shut. It just happens to be raining and they are just waiting for a forklift to come down. And then once the kit's on there, they will shut the gate. So as I said, we got subcontractor of the month here in September for scaffolding. Run it a few times here to be fair. So as you can see, nice and consistent, nice even scaffolding. There's a new another new gate there. Lovely, got the arms, get the arms with them because they're nice counterbalanced and they work really well. So look at all the trannies in the loading bay. Woo! So a tranny is the uh, the tube that goes from this outside line here, or this ledger here, and it goes across to the other ledger and that's basically what takes the weight. The trannies pick up the boards and uh, support the weight and disperse it. So, vegan and general scaffolding, subcontractor of the month, let's go. Now we've got to go to a production meeting. So let's go and have a look, see where we are. We're all right, we're all right program wise, I know that much. It's Liam. Uh, modeling the hat liners which we issue to our apprentices so they don't put their hoodies under their hat. Don't you think he looks like an archer from like Robin Hood days? Or you can also land a plane. <laughs> yeah, you could do your traffic signals. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to see the scaffolders here. So we're at Farringdon, um, phase two. It is 298 units here, combined brickwork and scaffolding package. Mm -hmm. Highest CQR ever to be recorded in the history of CQRs. NHPC, pride in the job winning site, and we're going to a award ceremony tomorrow. So Liam was just telling me the actual yeah. highest CQR ever scored got beat yesterday by a blow site. In, yeah. By a blow yeah, site. They blur. probably copied our stuff, to be honest. We do. People are often trying to get my minimum standard guide. I had a build inspector take one the other day and I had to reissue it to the site manager. And I had a subby. One of our competitors ring me up and go, how did you do that? And I said, well, it's not really rocket science, mate. Um, you do need some work, some good work to take pictures of. I said, start there. Anyways, go and meet the scaffolders. So this week's YouTube video is to do with our combined service. So obviously we've got the scaffolding division, which is Leo, and then we've got the brickwork division, which is Liam. So I want to know, what is, what's the good thing about working with our brickies, Leo? <laughs> uh, it's good, well, the good thing about working they always clear the lift off for us every time. They only have one bed up on a lift for it. Um, sort of an AA service scaffolding for the bricklayers, so you can sort of do whatever you want, whatever you want, so put the floor in that, and uh, gaff's all alright in that. You know, so uh, everything's really good in that. Good, so Liam. Okay now, yeah, yeah, no worries, mate. Hey, Liam, what's the, what, do you prefer working with our scaffolding division or 
others? No, our scaffolding division. As soon as I need something doing, they're on it straight away. That's it. Yeah, it's like a seamless straight away. relationship, isn't it? Hey. If it needs moving, lowering, hiring, two back away, it's they're easy. on it. It's easy as well. When Liam sort of gets off the lift and sort of gets me ahead, um, when I get off, it's so yeah, so Liam even puts up like put the sixes and fives, eights and um, six, sixes fittings, puts them up on the on the um, lift ready when he clears his loading bay off, clears, gets it ready for Leo, and then the uh, Leo machine just ticks gave, along. He asked when it gave his arms out, now. Yeah, it's kind of easy. We, we both try to work with each other so we don't mess each other up. So if I can see something going to mess up on the bridges, I sort of give Lammy the nod, and if he sees something that's going to mess me up later on, he gives me the nod. So Good. Pretty handy. Seems like a match made in heaven you covered up yeah well it's giving him a bit of publicity isn't it if anyone Leo, go on, go. If, got a if, anyone, if anyone needs uh, their chimney repointing and scaffolding give leo a shout yeah. <laughs> Free <brand. laughs> Free brand. that's where i'm going wrong yeah hi ollie this is ollie our nearest recruit yeah. he come from a competitor because he don't get a chance to do any fixing we're having part two, supervising the job in a few weeks. Yeah. Hello, right. Well, Leo's down in the old people. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, good crew here. Farron and, uh, like I said, 300 houses. We've done 100 already, and we're on phase two. So, we're, I think the program runs to about 2027 20, or something. But anyway, there's Steve. He's another one of our crew. Good lad. Oh, so, just taking the props out. All right, Steve. Oh, you, what, are you a drill artist or something? No. You got grime, a. Grime, yeah? Grime. No? Definitely so, right? 80s? Uh, Steve, tell him your job on the side. Well, yeah. Do you want to? Do you want to plug your? Oh, you want to know one thing you don't know about me? <laughs> oh, so you watch the channel? Yeah, come on, then, Steve. <laughs> See these these scaffolders. So, what well, you got a valet business, haven't you? Why is the van so dirty? Yeah, exactly. Why yeah. Don't it? <laughs> how much do you charge? Depends on like, what you do. Well, how much, how much do you charge for Leo's actually. van? Depends how much you earn. How much do you charge for Leo's van? In and out. Yeah. Right, can you get out there and not stop off him? Hopefully that gives you a little insight into our scaffolding division and hopefully you can see that we try and progress people from the brickwork division into the scaffolding division if they're showing willingness. That's about it on the brickwork and scaffolding division. NHBC Pride and the Job Awards are tomorrow, so I'll see you shortly. Right, I'm here with my security. Uh, for, the, <laughs> for the Pride in the Job Award, NHBC Pride in the Job Award. So we're just waiting for uh, John Fletcher, he's Managing Director of Law Homes Southwest. So my security uh, detail for the day, because things <laughs> might get out of hand because we're all going to win all the awards. We're so the um, so we're, 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 we're on our way, it's in Milton Keynes, so it's an hour and a half drive, so we'll see you there and um, hopefully see you on the other side. Here we go, MK Don Stadium. BCD. Believe it or not, it's only half twelve in the afternoon. Could, could be a messy one. There you go. About 500 people. There you go, here's the table, table of 50. Got to win a seal. Right. Big Charlie. Charlie Church! Yeah. Oh, Gary's our second wall. Well, it's actually our third wall. How are you? Come on, big Gaza. Come on, mate. There we go. Take a bow, Charlie. Come on, Gaza. None of our sites are going to see him back. There he is, big Gary Ezel. Well done, Gary. So we won two, three partner jobs across three of our sites and one of them won a seal of excellence. So well done Gary Ozzel for the nurseries. Outstanding site, very privileged to be part of it. So a bit of networking now, catch up with the boys. Plenty of beer on the table. There we go, everyone's having a good time. Comedian was a bit dire, I'm a bit funnier than him. Yeah, are you going to make the evening? It's yeah, not even. Really. It's not even but, dark but yet. You're not. It's not even half hour. It's not even home sweet home from the NHBC Pride in the Job Awards. So if you want to have a look, at, little look back at us actually winning the awards, then click the video link on the screen now. That'll take you back to a previous episode. That's a wrap from me. I'm very tired, even though it's only quarter to seven. Feels like I've been out all night. But anyway, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next week.